Uh, yes, welcome today. We're here with well-known scientist Stephen Hawking. Uh, Stephen, can you tell us where you were born? I was born in Oxford, 1942, January 8th, exactly 300 years after Galileo's death. I assume, however, that at least 200,000 other babies were also born that day. Oh, that is very interesting. Thank you. Um, Stephen, what are your main accomplishments? Well, I completely redefined the Big Bang Theory and found evidential proof for the black holes. Well, that is very interesting, Stephen. Um, what did you study? What were your favorite studies in high school? Chemistry was very fun, but I really wanted to do mathematics and physics. My father wanted me to do biology, but I did not wish to. He made me do chemistry instead. Chemistry was very fun because almost every day something new, like something new would either blow up or catch fire. Mathematics, how, physics, however, taught you where we came from and how we came to be. Oh, Stephen, were you married? I was married two times. My first wife, Jane, was ha ha I had two kids with Elaine. But when I started to get very sick, she got very depressed. She met a man named Jonathan, a musician and organist for the church. She made a room for him in our apartment when I was still there when we were still married. I, however, I understood why she was doing this. When I died, who would provide for the children? So I decided not to make a scene and allowed this. By 1990, I had had it. I could take no longer of the situation and moved to a flat with my second wife and one of my nurses, Elaine. We were married 1995 five months after Jane married Jonathan. Oh, it's very interesting. I also had three, my three children's names are Robert, Jane, and Timothy Hawking. What is a word that you would like to leave young scientists with today? Even though things come at you, you can always overcome them. If you can over, if I can overcome my problem, you can, Perhaps you may be able to overcome yours. When I when I stopped talking, they had to take out my windpipe because it if they didn't, my lungs would fill up with blood and I would surely die. My one night my one night my doctor told Elaine to take me home. He said I was going home to die. The next morning I got myself a new doctor. Thank you for those wise words, and uh, thank you for joining us today, Stephen Hawking. Of course.